ladies and gentlemen, good evening and thank you for tuning in to Canal Algeria's nightly news on April the 10th. Here are the headlines. In an address to the nation, the President of the Republic extends his heartfelt wishes to the Algerian people on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr feast. On the same occasion, the head of state receives the congratulations of his Egyptian and Tunisian counterparts, Abdel Fattah Hassisi and Qaisa Saeed. And the Algerian diplomatic representations are fully mobilized to serve our citizens abroad. The case in point, the Algerian consulate in Marseille. Our nationals are back to their country amid excellent conditions at the level of airports, as you'll discover in Iran Airport in tonight's edition. Welcome back. We begin with tonight's major story. We're on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr Fest, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Boun, addressed the nation to congratulate the Algerian people of this religious event after a month of fasting marked by the stability of prices and solidarity. He also extended his best wishes to the national community abroad and the Palestinian people. Here's our President. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصل اللهم وسلم على إمامنا وحبيبنا ونبينا سيدنا محمد ألف صلاة وألف سلام عليه أيتها المواطنات أيها المواطنون نستقبل غدا إن شاء الله أول أيام عيد الفطر المبارك سائلين الله عز وجل أن يتقبل منا الصيام والقيام وصالح الأعمال لقد عشنا شهر رمضان هذا العام في جو روحاني متميز وفي طمأنينة المواطن أمام الوفرة والتحكم في الأسعار حيث أصبح للمواطن خيارات حمته من حسابات أصحاب المصالح الضيقة التي كان رهينا لها للسنوات في مثل هذا الشهر أيتها المواطنات أيها المواطنون وإذ نحمد الله على هذا الاستقرار فإنني أجدد شكري للتجار الخيرين الرحماء وممثليهم وكل فاعلين والشركاء الاقتصاديين على كل ما بدلوه في ميدان وقوفهم فيه إلى جانب المواطن وفي أجمل صورة التكاتف والتضامن مع المواطنين المتعصلين في عمق المجتمع الجزائري أجدد لكم ولجاليتنا في الخارج تهاني الخالص لعيد الفطر المبارك دون أن ننسى أهلنا في فلسطين المحتلة وغزة الجريحة أعاده الله علينا جميعا بالخير واليمن والبركات عيدكم مبارك سعيد كل عام وأنتم بخير المجد والخلود لشهدائنا الأبرار السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته
to another presidential activity where on the same occasion, the president of the Republic, Abdel Majid Boun, received a phone call from his brother, Abdel Fattah Hassisi, the president of the Arab Republic of Egypt, in which he congratulated him on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr, wishing him, the Algerian people, a lasting progress and prosperity. On the same occasion, the president of the Republic expressed sincere congratulations to President Assisi as well as his best wishes for the brotherly Egyptian people for more prosperity and progress. Similarly, the President of the Republic received a phone call from his brother Qais Sayyid, the President of Tunisia, during which he congratulated him on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr, wishing him, the Algerian people, lasting prosperity and progress. For his part, the President of the Republic thanked his Tunisian counterpart, extending to him congratulations and wishing him and the brotherly Tunisian people more prosperity and progress. In a separate development, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the national community abroad took on Monday a series of emergency measures with the aim of improving the services of diplomatic and consular representations so as to better take in charge the concerns of the Algerian community established abroad. Instructions have been given for the use of the system of appointments for the different services suggested, notably biometric documents with exceptions for emergency cases. In order to respond to passport renewal demands, instructions were given for the extension of working hours and counselor and diplomatic centers in the organization of on-call to receive immigrants. During this month of Ramadan, Algeria representations abroad maintained the usual pace of work with schedules adapted to meet the needs of Algerian nationals. At the Algerian Consulate in Marseille, services are operating at full capacity to deal with the increasing number of requests coinciding with Eid al-Fitr. Reports from our special envoy Lilia Ben Nasser taken up by Ines Kirlo. The General Consulate of Algeria in Marseille is one of the driving forces behind the defense of the interests of the Algerian community living in the region and one of the consular representations in France. During this blessed month of Ramadan, the staff of the Consulate General are responding daily to the demands of public service in terms of consular management, civil status, social services, and so on. On est service de la biométrie. We are the biometric department along with the postal service, so we receive nationals, we deal with the consular registrations, travel authorizations, passport applications, renewals, and first-time applicants. We also take requests for S-12 birthday certificate. After Ramadan, of course, it's a special time of the year when we get a lot of requests because people want their passports quickly so they can celebrate Eid al-Fatr in Algeria. I came to get a visa for my daughter while I waited for her passport. I wanted to go to Algeria in April to stay for 10 days while I applied for the visa, hoping to get it sooner than I did my military census. But otherwise, everything went well with the reception. The visa issuing has been reduced. Personally, everything went well. Personnellement, tout s'est bien passé. Le consulat général d'Algérie à Marseille gère les membres de la communauté nationale établie. The consulate general of Algeria in Marseille runs the daily affairs. The members of the national community established in the two departments relevant to it, namely Bouches-Durand and Vaucluse. We have around 240,000 Algerian nationals registered with the post in application of the instructions given by the country's highest authorities to the members of our community, which represents, it must be emphasized, a strong human potential, multiform, and covering several fields of excellence recognized to all newcomers. On a daily basis, our Consulate General is relying on a proximity strategy based on listening to the concerns and expectations expressed by our nationals and their association representatives. Préoccupations et attentes exprimées par nos ressortissants et leurs représentants associatifs. A new dynamic has been anchored at the General Consulate of Algeria in Marseille, with the Consul General adopting this approach of listening to and working closely with associations. Dans ce cadre, nous multiplions les canaux de communication. As part of this, we are increasing the number of channels of communication with our nationals by regularly organizing debates and get-togethers with fellow citizens every Saturday morning, inviting them to share their experiences, ideas and best practices on their activities and the possibilities for quality in the constituency. In addition to its legal and social consular mission, the consulate sets up, as it does every Ramadan, an atmosphere of solidarity and conviviality to the great delight of the Algerian community settled in Marseille.
The same mobilization applies to our consulate in Naples, which carries out its ordinary missions in addition to collective iftars for the benefit of the Algerian community in this city and various regions of the southern Italy. Ines Kilu, once more. It was a moment of conviviality and communion shared by members of the Algerian community from different regions of southern Italy during this iftar meal organized by the Algerian consulate in Naples. In accordance with the instructions of the country's highest authorities to promote solidarity actions for the benefit of the Algerian Consulate General, in collaboration with Algerian associations, organized iftar meals in various regions of southern Italy, including Naples, Victoria, Palermo, and Catania. I'd like to pay tribute to the work done by the Councillor and all the commendable initiatives it has taken to the benefit of our community. They brought the administration closer to citizens in accordance with the guidelines of the President of the Republic, whom we thank for the special interest. We'd like to say how much we support the head of state because this is the first time we've had a President who's been close to us. It's as if we are a member of the family. We welcome the steps taken to help Algerian nationals make God guide us and our youth for the good of our country. The opening of the Algerian General Consulate in Naples in 2023 is part of the President of the Republic's decision to offer the best possible services to Algerians living in Italy. Several associations and mosques are taking part in the initiative undertaken by the Grand Mosque of Paris called Les Repas Solidaires. And this across the northern departments of France, an initiative that reflects solidarity towards those in need. Our correspondent Afaf Belhouchet and this reporter Minissa Kebash have more for us on this heartwarming initiative. Thanks to an initiative carried out by the Grand Mosque of Paris in coordination with the association Les Grands Coeurs in Roubaix and no less than 30 volunteers, meals are distributed to those in need ever since the beginning of this blessed month of fasting. We cook and distribute meals with the help of volunteers. We organize the meals, then wait for the delivery agents to arrive and deliver the food to different sites, including college dorms and mosques. The initiative doesn't involve those in need only, but includes also isolated workers. It is a great initiative. I've been coming since the beginning of Ramadan. The same humanitarian initiative is undertaken by the other mosques, notably the El Sunnah Mosque, where nearly 200 meals are distributed per day. The same atmosphere prevails in El Quds Mosque in the French city of Duna, as these women mobilize themselves five to six hours a day to ensure the good preparation of meals. We do it as good deeds. We must help each other. Who knows, maybe someday we'll find them. I wake up by dawn, prepare my store, then proceed to cook for those in need. These women have a special place in this mosque. We see their hard and efficient work as well as their participation in the social life of the mosque. In Al Furqan Mosque, the female involvement is quite visible, ensuring the smooth running and organization of the iftar so as to welcome the faithful. We are limited to 1,400 faithfuls except for Fridays and feast days. In addition to the daily meal distribution, a collective iftar was also organized in honor of the local authorities in bid to consolidate and promote cohabitation. This initiative marked several people, especially the vulnerable segments, whether they are Muslims or not. It's a pride to share meals with each other. Lille's Federation and its mosque for their point embodied a beautiful image of this blessed month and that of Islam after feeding needy people regardless of their race, belonging or religion. 
The Grand Mosque of Paris has also taken part in a show of solidarity during this Ramadan. It has joined forces with Catholic Relief in an unprecedented initiative to offer iftars to immigrants in Calais, an example of interfaith solidarity in a way of counterfeit and stereotypes. This move by the Paris Mosque has a special character since a large part of these immigrants are Muslims, men and women, and children living in precarious conditions. The number of flights coming towards Algeria has been increased notably at the international airport of Iran province, Ahmed bin Billah, to allow our nationals settled abroad to spend Eid al-Fitr feast with their families in their homeland. Minisa Kebash. On the occasion of Eid al-Fitr feast, Oran's airport Ahmed bin Billah welcomed a large number of our nationals eagerly waiting to celebrate this religious event with their families. I came from France and I'm very happy to spend this Eid with my family, especially my mother. It's been five years since I came to Algeria. Honestly, I'm very happy. With God's will, we'll celebrate Eid al-Fitr with our family. We came to spend Eid al-Fitr with our kids and family. It's been 14 years. I came with my children this time. I wanted them to see their family and share Eid al-Fitr with them. Security facilitations and procedures have been put in place by our police forces and customs for the benefit of our nationals. The airport receives around 30 flights a day, therefore we mobilize the necessary human and material means to welcome our nationals settled abroad. Iran's Customs Inspectorate has mobilized the necessary human and material resources to welcome Algerians willing to spend Eid al-Fitr with their families, and this through a series of measures and procedures implemented by our services. It should be noted that the airport is witnessing a large number of flights coming towards Algeria, a telling evidence of the anchored relationship binding Algeria's sons to their beloved homeland, opening largely its arms to welcome them anytime. In cooperation, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the National Community Abroad received a phone call from his Brazilian counterpart, Mauro Vieira. Discussions revolved around the Palestinian cause, notably the tragic situation prevailing in Gaza following the military escalation by the Zionist occupation. While both ministers tackled the latest developments in the Palestinian state's full membership request at the level of the United Nations, in light of the support of both Algeria and Brazil for this important step. On to the operational report of the People's National Army's activity in the past week. In the context of the fight against terrorism, detachments of the People's National Army arrested eight support elements to terrorist groups during separate operations across the national territory. In the framework of the fight against organized crime and the continuation of the tireless efforts aimed at country and the scourge of drug trafficking in our country, combined detachments of the PNA intercepted in coordination with the different security services and operations across the military regions, 26 drug traffickers, and averted attempts to introduce six 639 kilograms of processed key through the borders with Morocco, while 1,100 grams of cocaine and 28,100 psychotabic tablets were seized. In Tamra, supported by Mukhtar in Salah, detachments of the People's National Army arrested 310 individuals and seized 21 vehicles, 96 generators, 70 jackhammers, 23 metal detectors, 124 quintals of mixture of stones and raw gold, in addition to quantities of explosive detonation tools and other equipment used in illegal gold mining operations. On the other hand, 16 other individuals were arrested, 7 hunting rifles, in addition to 28,200 liters of fuel, as well as 45 food, tons of foodstuffs intended for smuggling and speculation, which were seized during separate operations across the national territory. Similarly, border guards sorted at the level of our national coast attempts at illegal immigration of 53 individuals aboard traditionally made boats, while 703 illegal immigrants of different nationalities were arrested across the national territory. And with that, we end tonight's bulletin. Thank you so much to our technicians and journalists, and thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.